No, no, no. First one you had. No. Oh, you got it? Okay. All right. You get for a while. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. I'm on. <laughs> okay. I gotta say that the next time. <laughs> next time I'm on Spotlight, I've said that for years. Like people take film shots. First thing I do is say, Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Yeah. All right. Well, You're on YouTube, Mom. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we are, right. uh, we are rolling. Um, can you just give me, I mean, the, uh, maybe a distilled version of what you just said? All right. <laughs> and, uh, a synopsis of what I said was, 14 million was a bond issue for the Public Safety 911 Center. A half a million was used for penthouse offices, and this has caused problems. It's caused delay, confusion. They don't have the proper manpower so that the DeVecchio administration can have penthouse apartments on the fifth floor of the courthouse. I challenge the DeVecchio administration to have the director of emergency management, Joe Weindorf, stand up and say, this half a million dollars doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that they took this money. It didn't make any difference. And I also state that I believe there's a paper trail, there's letters, memos, and actual physical proof that they were advised the money was all needed for public safety and they made the policy decision to use it for their own luxury. Well, I guess the first question, I mean, how did you uh, hear about this? How did I hear about it? Somebody walked in this office and said, Buzz, they diverted money for their own well, public pleasure. And they said, there is a paper trail. There are letters that went back and forth. There's memos. There's evidence. And if we had a little more time under the Freedom of Information Act, I believe all of that would come out. So I, I summarize it, or I, <laughs> I bring it all together by saying, I challenge the Vecchio administration to have the Director of Public uh, Safety, the Emergency Management Director, Joe Weindorf, say this half a million dollars didn't make a difference. Uh, who was this person? Uh, <laughs> somebody off the street, it was an informed citizen. Well, and he said, you know. what? No, he said to me, why would you have all the problems, manpower issues, why would you have all of these things come out? Now, uh, if they were at least fully funded. They were not fully funded. That's the whole problem. Uh, do, you, do you know what this person's name or where they're from? It was a constituent. Okay. I'm not going to put somebody in the corner. And I'm going to tell you something. If you take a half a million dollars from something, there's a half a million dollars of what could not have been done. And the citizens know it. Anybody that looks at what they did, it's really not hard to figure out. Somebody did come in and say, talk about it, Buzz. It's his policy to take care of himself before people of Erie County. All right, but someone who you do have a reason to believe, you know, knew what they were talking about in this case. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I had at least four people call me. I had three people stop in. That brings it up to the magic number of seven if you're in numerology, but it's not something that isn't known. People know it at the courthouse. Uh, I think Joe Weindorf knows it. I think he wrote letters to Mark DeVecchio saying, we really need all the funds. And so you had the paper trail, but you think if there was more time? Absolutely, I believe there's a paper trail. Uh, and I'm just trying to shorten up the process. If they're so certain that this half million dollars did not make a difference, have the director of emergency management say, hey, this half a million dollars that I did not get did not make a difference in the operation and the mistakes that were being made. Lack of manpower, lack of technology. All right. Of course, we're going to get a uh, you know, response from Mark DeVecchio. Um, you know, one of the things is that, you know, that is the, uh, they're going to say, hey, this is Sunday. Buzz is trying to make headlines. I tried to do it on Saturday, but everyone was busy. I was, you know, how, do you, you know, how do you respond to, to the charge? How do I respond if I'm trying to make headlines? Well, maybe I'm trying to make headlines, but Mark is making extremely bad decisions and policy for the citizens of Erie County. That's my response.
And he can make headlines too. Go get Joel Weindorf. Have him publicly state didn't matter. Alright, uh, anything else you'd uh, add? Hi, Mom. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. Thank you. Very good. Alma Zandrzewski, you have just watched a Christian Lestat production.